Hey folks, welcome back. Did you buy the Jumper T Pro with Express LRS? And did you screw up the flash? Did the flash dump out on you? Did you have some issue with the flash and now the Lewis script won't recognize your uh, internal Express LRS module? Well, mine did, so <laughs> it's gonna suck. You're gonna have to join me for this one and uh, get out your old friend, FTDI adapter, because you're gonna need it. Let's head over to the bench and unscrew this thing up. Not happy. Not at all. All right, folks, first things first, we're gonna have to get the radio, get the backs off, pull the batteries out, blickety blah, grab yourself a double lot. Phillips head screwdriver. And I'll start pulling some screws out of this thing. We're gonna have to pull eight screws out of it. That's one. There's two, I'm just gonna fast forward this because it's just me literally turning a screwdriver. And if I don't, I'm probably gonna swear and say some horrible things because I'm not very happy about this. Sorry, 10 screws. Okay, we got our screws out. We're gonna see our two uh, sliders here are connected to the board. We're gonna have to pull those up very gently. Don't break anything, three, two, one, there we go. One and Two. By the way, this is going to be really fun to put back together. All right, now we got to disconnect our uh, backboard from the main board. One connector, and there's two. Just real gently with your fingers, and now everybody's nemesis, the old UFL. Just fingernails. Fingernails, folks. That's all you need. Both sides. There we go. One half's off. Now all we have is the back half. This is the half we need to get a hold of. Clean up our mess of screws here. Most of the screws don't like to come out of the housing, which is fine. We'll just we'll leave it there. Okay, so this is our Express LRS transmitter right here. And what we need to do is desolder this, or we can just use this pin header, Ooh, even easier. And we need to connect it to our FTDI. Most FTDI adapters come with DuPont connectors or some little jumpers. We're going to use those. We'll grab some real quick. A few moments later. Wow, that took too long to find. All right, so we are going to hook up on our FTDI adapter. We are going to hook up the uh, 5 volt ground TX and RX. We're not going to use 3.3. So let's. Uh, I'm not using any sort of standard pin out. We're just gonna connect things. Just make sure we don't screw anything up on the other end. So there we go there. Uh, I did red was power. So red is power here. Brown was ground. Peel some of these back a little bit. Get some length on. Ground is ground. And let's go with, uh, we want to go RX to TX and TX to RX. So our orange wire is RX. We're going to go orange to, I don't know, TX right there. Hopefully that's right. If not, it's no big deal. We'll just reverse it. Okay, just so you guys can see what the pinout of this whole thing is. White is gonna be RX, yellow is TX, red is five volts, and black is ground. And this button here, this is our boot button. So after we get our FTDI connected and put together, I'll put a still image with all this stuff drawn out on there. Before we connect this to our PC, we need to hold this button down. All right, so I'm gonna do that right now. I also installed an antenna. I don't know if this thing is gonna transmit when it's connected to the computer, uh, but out of an overabundance of caution, I'm gonna put an antenna on it anyways. You can try to use this one, depending on how your bench is set up and all this stuff, but uh, I just had an extra beta FEV 2.4 gigahertz antenna laying around, so that's what I'm gonna use, all right? So I'm going to hold this button down. You can, it's just one of those normal membrane tactile switches. Hold it down and I'm gonna connect my FTDI to the computer and then you can let go. Okay, here is where the fun starts. So we need to go to the Express LRS GitHub page. 
All right, we're gonna have to edit some code because this firmware was never designed to be able to be flashed over a UART only over Wi-Fi. So, I'm gonna go to ex GitHub forward slash Express LRS forward slash Express LRS. We're gonna go where it says code and we're gonna hit download zip. This is gonna download the entire Express LRS repository, I think. I don't speak GitHub, but that's what it is. All right, I saved it here. We're gonna do extract all. We're gonna extract this sucker. Play the waiting game. All right, now we're gonna have to go and edit some code in here. Real simple, we're gonna go in there. We're gonna go to source. We're gonna go to targets. And we're gonna find the jumper underscore 2400. We're gonna open that up. Use notepad plus plus or just notepad, whatever works for you. And we're gonna come to this very first set of lines here where it says ENV jumper Aon 2400 T Pro TX via Wi Fi. We're gonna delete where it says Wi Fi and we're gonna type U A R T, UART, all in caps, and hit save. We're gonna go ahead and close that. Now, we need to open up our Express LRS configurator. We're gonna to go to local. We're gonna hit choose folder. We're gonna hit choose folder. Find that Express LRS folder we extracted. Drill down into it until you get to source and then hit select folder. That is gonna tell the configurator where to find the code. We're gonna to go to device category. We're gonna to go to jumper 2400 gigahertz. Device, the Aon T Pro 2400 TX. Make sure you set this up as if you would any other Express LRS transmitter or receiver. You know, you can set your binding phrase, your domain, Wi-Fi, all that stuff. We come down here and wait, what happened? If for some reason you bring this up and it still says Wi-Fi there, go ahead and close your configurator down and then come back to this page and it should say UART. As you just saw, that's how it worked for me. I didn't change anything, just close it down and reopen. So we got UART selected. Make sure you fill out your, uh, your info here the way you want it. We're gonna come down here, select our FTDI adapter, which was, for me, it's COM10. If you see COM1, COM1 is always serial port. If you have an older computer with a serial port, that's like hardwired Microsoft COM1. It's not that one. Select whatever you are, your FTDI adapter comes up to. If you don't know what it is, just disconnect it and see which one goes away. But don't forget to push that boot button before you plug it back in. We're gonna hit COM10, build and flash. Now it's going to build the firmware and flash it over the FTDI. Now this may take some time. I know you've heard it before. This can take a long time, especially if you haven't built anything out of ExpressLRS before. Your computer has to download a bunch of libraries and dependencies. It does take some time, so just be patient. And I'm gonna help you out by fast forwarding. And here we should see it should start say writing. If you don't see that, or if it says com whatever, and it just sits there forever, disconnect the module, hold that boot button down and try connecting it again. And if it still doesn't work, you probably have the TX and RX wires backwards. Just go ahead and flip flop them, hold the boot button, connect it and try to flash it again. But this is the combination that will make it work. Okay, we have green success. Our module should be flashed with the proper firmware again, which it was before until we had the bad flash. Set over the bench, put it back together. Disconnect FDDI. All right, it's just kind of a pass through. Plug that back in there. Get our temporary antenna off of the board. And installation is kind of the reverse of removal. Don't forget to hook up your antenna. That's super important. That's the first thing I hook up just because it's the longest. And then we got our two uh, backboard connectors. Now we got our two uh, rockers, which these were, or our two pots, these were Kind of difficult to put together. Um, you are not gonna see what I'm doing in here. The best I can. But sometimes you need a little bit of a poking tool to kind of guide things in.
Those connected, and now we can put it back together. Um, I think I'm going to uh, throw the batteries back in it and fire it up just to make sure this worked. I'm gonna throw the batteries in it with the back disconnected, uh, not screwed down, uh, just to see if this works. And we should know by going into the Lua script and it reading the Lua. There we go. And we can finish putting it back together. I'm not going to bore you guys with this. All right, folks. Well, that was a big pain in the butt. That is how you fix the uh, internal Express LRS module firmware if you happen to have a bad flash. This is a this is really inconvenient. Hopefully this doesn't ever happen to you. It happened to me, like literally the first time I flashed it. I've been pretty lucky with this. But like I've always said, if you get an Express LRS, make sure you buy yourself an FTDI adapter because you're probably going to need it at some point in time. Um, this is exactly what happens when a manufacturer doesn't talk to the developers and they do something stupid like not have a way to connect to the internal module. In theory, just being able to flash over Wi-Fi all the time is a fair way to go, but unfortunately, that's just it just didn't work out in this case, and I got a feeling this is going to happen quite a bit. This video is going to come up before my review of this radio, uh, just because this is so important for people to, to know when they get this radio in case they do bork the flash. Uh, I will put a link to the FTDI adapter that I used in the video description. They're very cheap. If you're Like I said, if you're in Express LRS, you better get one because you will eventually need it. Or if it's screwed up like this, just send it back to the retailer. And let the let them deal with the manufacturer on this one for their bad design choice. Um, wish it wasn't this way. I really wanted to like this radio, but that is another reason why this will definitely not be my daily driver. But uh, you know, I literally haven't used it yet. So, um, all right, folks. Hopefully, you come back to watch the review of this radio. Um, we'll see. All right, folks. Thanks for stopping by, and as always, stay happy. Get yourself an FTDI, you're gonna need it.